Hey guys, Dr. Mithis here back with some more of our Wrexham save. It is another international day today. But we have a special international day. It's one game today, just one. And it's one of the important games of the year for the international team. And that is the World Cup European qualifying section groups. We start off the group against one of the better teams in the world. Portugal, who is seventh in the world. To give you an idea, we are, well, not seventh. I think we're like 50, let's see, 52nd. So uh, there's that. We actually don't have one of our best players in Nico Williams. He's out with a broken lower leg. So we have to contend with Portugal without one of our best players a super sad face so without further ado let's get right into this first game and this can be a short episode with that first game and only game so here we go nothing crazy that we're gonna do i mean we're playing what we play at wrexham so hopefully we can do something i'm hoping because i don't know as of what the squad ability looks like I mean, Daniel James might be able to come in, but maybe he could play up top. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Who is it? Is it? Who was that I was just looking at? Daniel James. Where's Daniel James at? He's not a good finisher, which is why he's not up there. Makes sense. So we're just gonna have to figure this out. It's gonna, we have a couple of new guys in here. Uh, Joe Bell is one of our youngsters at 20 years old. So we'll see him sooner rather than later, probably come in and play a little bit. We'll see what Jones can do out on the side. So we'll kind of see. Without further ado, let's get into this game. Hopefully. Um, I can actually do a team talk. Hold the team talk. Okay, we have a decent chance of qualification. Okay. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna make a cut here. I'm gonna set up uh, like some stuff with the Wrexham squad, stuff like that, to get a friendly in and things of that nature. And then we'll be back with the game against Portugal. All right, here we go. So, I think we should be good in the back. Our defense is, well, should be pretty good in this but we are playing what is the seventh ranked team and we are if i'm not mistaken for whatever reason it doesn't show me there i have to actually search for the team but we are 53rd that's a lot of space between so this is how we're gonna play um, we don't really have a striker that is a second. So we're going to start with uh, Charmin up top. We'll see what he can do. He's only a three. And this sucks. May uh, he's just not. Cons we need We need another striker. Another good striker. That's what we need. Okay. Let's send it and... Uh, Let's see what Johnson can do here. If this doesn't work, then we'll flip it. I hope we can get something here. I'm hoping. It's only one game today, though. So there's that. It's only one game. It's only one game. We can do this. 
Mendez Diaz. There's the low. There's Rafael Leao. This is actually a pretty good team for Portugal. Long past though is the days of Rafael. Or Rafael. Of Cristiano Ronaldo. We're past that. Is this Wales time? Is that what it is? I don't know. We'll have to see. We're in our wife today. Uh, that's not the greatest bit of passing. Ward's in goal. Hopefully Ward can do something as that's over. That's a good set piece shot by Ruben Neves. Makes me a little nervous though. But why? There we go. Ah, uh, that's a good try, but it's not there. Not the low. Someone's got a step two. Okay, good deflection. Nito Vincia. Probably mispronouncing it. Delo, Nito. No shot. Norrington Davies does slide tackle him instead of the ball. We don't we luckily at least don't get something. That's a counterattack. Uh it's gonna be more of the top, my guy. Let Brennan Johnson run under it essentially. Leal takes another shot. Okay. It's not working this. Let's flip this back around. Let's flip this back around. Pressing forward, advance forward. Let's press it around. We need our best forward to be pressing and wow. Layout just, just, That is the quality of Rafael Leal. That's just what it comes down to. That is the quality of Rafael Leal. Now, the biggest thing is obviously the top of this table advances. And then I think the idea is all of the second place teams are put in a pool to play in a 10 team group and the top half of that advance so the idea is we need to get second so at least we have a chance portugal is likely going to take over this I mean, maybe we should have went to cautious here against Portugal. I'm thinking about it. I think we're better than everyone else in the group besides Portugal. It's not like we drew two big teams. This could get ugly. This could get ugly. Okay, that's the way. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god, love it. It just hits you in the back of the head, my guy. Oh my gosh. He gave him a concussion, that's why he didn't pass the ball. Unch well Just not there. Just not there. I'm going to demand more. Oh, come on. What is this? Why are we not standing back? Let's drop off more. We're getting beat off dumb things what's the speed hold on what's the speed should have good I have to do in the middle. And Sharma doesn't even put it on target. Come on, my guy. I'm going to write the team. This just hurts my soul. Okay, that's a good field switch. Diago Costa making plays. Come on, Brennan Johnson, jump up to the ball. Come on. Now Felix Neves misses it. Okay. There you go, Roberts. Good block.
Bro, that's a been terrible. You've been terrible. Levitt's just not getting it done up here. Wait, he's not good at tackling. Oh, let's get Bell in. It'll be our first sub. Maybe it'll do something. And Levin needs to be play as a roaming playmaker, maybe. Oh my god. FM, you're killing me. You're killing me. Good ball. If we would have fall for it, it would have been a good ball. Ooh, okay. At least we have some movement. See if we can do this. See if this helps. That's a good ball. That's going to be a penalty. We can get one goal. We won't be blanked out here. And we know who takes this. Is Brennan Johnson takes the penalty. The man's the best striker on the team. Why would you have anyone else taking that? It makes zero sense. Zero. Okay, there's the penalty. Okay. We're going to go attacking. We're going to pull the wing, push the wing backs up. <laughs> you don't beat that set piece. It's just not going to happen. I don't want to see that. Six to one, Portugal just beats us. Makes sense though, this is Portugal. Jones is showing some edge, I like it.
Why are we backing off there? We are counter pressing. Let's step up more then. I don't know why Norwich and Davies just didn't step up. Samu can make that shot. Goodbye, boys. Let's get one more. Okay. Johnson was just like, hell with this. I'm taking a. I wish I had. Nico Williams, but him missing a World Cup right now is not great. At least the qualifiers. I think we'll have him back for maybe not the next qualifier, but the one after that. I'm going to demand more from the boys. Wars missed. He has let two goals in by mistake. So. Good movement. Okay, there's Johnson. Why don't, why are you doing this, Norton Davies? I, why are you just giving the ball up? I'm so confused by that. Cross more often. Take fewer risks. Okay. The low makes a mistake. Or Antonio. No, it is the low that makes a mistake. I mean, we're definitely not going to win this game. Leal, put, Leal and company put it away. But we can have something respectable. Ooh, what a good shot by Bell. I wonder if I just play Bell up top and we just hope Sherman Bell and Brennan Johnson can do it. I don't know if they can. That's the thing. But I am, since this is going to be a shorter episode wise, I am going to tell you how we're going to play just as long as we don't have any injuries. For next game. But this one's not going to work. This is not going to work. Six to two, Portugal. Tomas Neves did absolute work with us with four goals. Come on, guys. That's one of the best teams in the world. What'd you expect to do there? It definitely wasn't win. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this to uh we're going to go through and I'm going to talk about that game as we go through this. So was it a bad game? No, it, it wasn't a bad game. It is against Portugal. 
I mean, we're slated to be probably second in the group. So it's not a bad result. Is it a good result? Hell no. That wasn't even close. So that was a very uninspiring defeat. I'm going to send my assistant because that was so un uninspiring. Um, so we do have some good stuff. So with the under 21s and everything like that. Now. Oh, we don't have like. Oh, I thought that would be like a prediction. So let's look at this. I know we looked at this before, but Albania is 45th. Macedonia is 79th. The Faroe Islands is 155th. So if we can beat Albania, then we're fine. That's what it comes down to. If we can beat Albania, we're fine. Now, if Albania beats Portugal, we're going to have an issue. So how are we going to play next game? So I think at this point, Joe Bell comes up here. Levitt comes down here. While I like Lloyd, it's just... He's a sub. Uh, Oliver Jones? I think we play Oliver Jones in the middle. My friend was getting beat too, like, too much. So that'll be one change. Lloyd would be like the first one. I do like Thomas Jones though. And Roberts wasn't affecting all that much. And I think it's time for Jones to be out there. I think it is. I think this is the key here. And we do have Evans that can come up and play. Evans has 12 goals. So maybe the key is Bell up top. Sherman pops back. I think we do this next game. And where is he? Fail. Um, I think we put the Evans. He has 12 goals and 33. He's playing at St. Johnston though. So not big. It's just not exactly big competition. Be honest. Actually, this is probably best here. Want we'll to see? Okay. Where's he playing? He's playing in. Um, I think from here we then go to. Ward's a better defender. I Okay, this is what we're going to go with. Oh, here's our nation tab. What does suck is Nico Williams is going to be out. So it says, what, three to five months. When is the next competition here? 
three to five months. This would be a quick turnaround. He's back for this one. And that is a back to back against Albania. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Okay, maybe we can get some players in that uh, could be better. I mean, we do have some under 21s that might be able to play, depending. The biggest thing is I don't see any under 21s that are going to blow like the World Cup away wise. Unfortunately, which does kind of suck. So we have to figure out what we're going to do. Maybe we could pull in a couple of guys that are good, but going to need a lot of development. Just. The pool is not good. Let's look at it. The entire pool. I mean, if we get Jordan James to commit. But he's likely not going to commit because I think he's capped. Yeah, he's he's on the English national team, but he would start for us literally at midfield, but it's just not there. Luke Harris would start pretty much as the attacking. Ashley Phillips would be starting on defense. Uh, Finn Stevens might be a guy that we can, I mean, we have options, but I would love to have some top caliber players. Unfortunately, Jordan James won't, uh, won't change. So for the international competitions wise, the next time we will have a spot. I just want to make sure is June 9th. So it's going to be a long time. It'll be into the summer transfer window that we have some more stuff. So let's end this episode. Thank you all for joining me. We knew this was going to be a hard one against Portugal. We knew it. And a six and two loss. That hurts. That hurts even though I, th I knew we were going to lose. It hurts. So thank you all for joining me. Go leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.